Dad meant everything to me. Feel better telling yourself that. Less guilty. I hate what happened, Madison. I hate seeing you in this much pain. Then stop reminding me of it. Get out. I'm trying to remind you how good it was between us. What part? The lies? Oh. Your secret deal with Greenlee? Obviously, that part was a mistake. You traded my dignity for a get-out-of-jail-early card. That wasn't a mistake. You knew exactly what you were doing. Yes, yes, okay, in the beginning, there was a deal. Madison, I came to genuinely care about you. So much that you never once told me why you really came into my life. Because I was scared, Madison. I, I was scared that I was going to lose you. I mean, come on. I love you. Don't say that. Do not say that. What am I supposed to say? Please, just tell me. What am I supposed to say to you? Because I, I want I want to make this right. All right I, want to, I want to show you how truly sorry I am. You had a million chances to come clean. We moved in together and you said nothing. We made love. Nothing. I invited you to be in the room when my baby was born. Still nothing. Ryan came to our place after Greenlee finally told him everything. And you just let me defend you. Let me go on and on and on about your loyalty. Yes, 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 yes. I could have said something. What, what, what would that have accomplished? Like I said, I was scared that I was going to lose you. Well, that doesn't do anything for the hole in my heart or the pit in my stomach. So take your pathetic apologies and just go. Say, come on. Go. Just listen to me. Get it. There's a fusion. Come on. Yeah. Hey, um, sorry guys. Uh, Ma Madison is having a, a really tough time, so I gotta go check that out, okay? All right. That's what I'm gonna go find out. some help with your mother uh what kind of help what happened i caught her about to have a drink what she didn't go through with it but she was about to what did she say nothing that made any sense but i gotta tell you nothing she says or does lately makes any sense i was scared then but now i gotta tell you i am scared to death okay now you're freaking me out look just we need to get a hold of bianca and we need to confront your mother now okay i'll be right there can you hand me the purse? Wait, you're leaving too? So much for celebrating. Um, I'll, I'll explain later. Well, I guess it's just you and me. Looks that way. I don't know whether to hug you or hit you. I get that a lot. Erica Kane. Yes, yes, that's me. Would you like an autograph? How about a picture? I'm here with a reporter. We're doing a story on summer cocktails. But you are way more interesting than any drink. Well, thank you. Well, yes, I'd, I'd be delighted to give you a picture. Oh, you know what? If you stick around, I might just be able to give you a really big scoop. 
Madison? Madison, you here? Someone wants to buy it? Yes. Me. You want to run a hospital? I want to acquire it. Okay, it's not like a cosmetics company or anything. There's no glitz or glam. Oh, well, I, I would not be running the day-to-day. -day. We would find someone else to do that, but I would like to make the purchase, and it would become part of Portland Electronics, a subsidy. You mean a subsidiary? Yes. Greenlee, this is an amazing opportunity, one that you do not want to pass up. What's in it for you? I get to show my, my gratitude to all the wonderful doctors of Pine Valley Hospital who have saved so many of the people I love. And you know, if you sold the hospital to Erica Kane, she would make it the most first-rate medical facility in the country, bar none. Are you serious about this? Yes. All right, well, I've already had the hospital lawyers drawing something up. Talk to them. One more shot in this game? Yes. Why not? Thank you so much. Thank you. I just wanted to shake on it. Oh, excuse me. Jack? Jack, you caught me right in the middle of a meeting. I'm at Candles. I need you here right away. I'm working. I spoke to Caleb. There is no project that you have to finish. Now, no matter where you are, Erica, I need you to get over to Kendall's. And I mean right now. Don't make me come and track you down, because I will. A music box. Yeah, yeah, the, the song it plays. Marissa's father used to sing it to her when she was a little girl. Really? Yeah, she still hums it when she's scared, and it makes her feel calm. Wow. How did you find it? Just give it to Marissa so she always feels safe. <laughs> Why don't you want to give it to Mark? I think it'll be better coming from you. So you're on board. You'll help me win back Marissa. Just give her the gift. It'll make her happy. He's probably dealing with something important. What is it with men like you? Brilliant and handsome. Mm. 
You always have to play hero. <laughs> Is it possible? Just once. You see a damsel in distress and you just keep on walking? Oh, some questions are better left unanswered. That is such a cop-out. Do these jeans make me look fat? Which one of my friends is the hottest? Do not answer. I didn't ask you about my jeans or my friends. Look, whatever's going on with you and Ryan, I am not getting involved. Well, who said anything about Ryan? I'm just trying to look into the male psyche. It's some insight. You see a woman in trouble and you just have to save her. It's programmed into your DNA, same as Ryan's. Uh-huh. Busted. All right, but then just throw me a crumb here. Look, I don't know either of you very well. But from what I've seen and from what I've heard from Kendall, Ryan is committed to you. And you are definitely more than capable of taking care of yourself. Same as Kendall. They're definitely not damsels. To you and Kendall. So your life didn't turn out the way you planned it, did it? I just came to get your tray. No, I think you want to talk to me as much as I want to talk to you. So is Jane blackmailing you? Is that, is that how she's keeping you here? You're asking too many questions. Ben, I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to figure out why Jane thinks she can control people like this. She's holding me prisoner while she takes my life. And I think she's doing the same to you, Ben. The only difference is that you are not locked up. I mean, you're free. You can just walk away anytime you want to. No, I'm not. Why? Because I'm the reason she did all of this.